I'm just going to show you very quickly how to set up a Christmas card in Photoshop. So if you go to New File, I'm going to go to Print, and then I'm going to look for A4, and then I'm going to make it Landscape. So at the moment the resolution is 300, okay, that's for printing. If you wanted it on the web, it would be 72. And then the colour mode is RGB for screen, but we want to print it. So we're going to use CMYK and then I'm going to click create. Now we've got a big white space. So this canvas here, we need to work out where halfway is. So to do that, we're going to go to view, guides, new guide. So I've set mine to red, but it can be changed. So if you want it to be a different color, this is just to help you to see where the guide is. So do 50%, that is halfway. So now you've got a green line that won't appear on the printout. That is just for you to see where to go to. So I'm going to insert a picture. So I'm going to go to File, Place Embedded. So I've got two pictures here. One is my um, completed file in Adobe Illustrator. And one is the export that I did from Illustrator. If you want to know how to make this Christmas pudding, I'll put a link in the description. So I'm going to choose my finished one. So it's quite big, so I'm going to shrink it. So I'm going to show you first how you shouldn't shrink it. So I'm just going to pull the handles. Okay, so that's all squished and it doesn't look very good. So I'm just going to undo by doing Control-Z. So instead, press Shift on your keyboard, which is an arrow near the bottom left. If you're using Windows, I pull it down. You can tick it now. It doesn't really matter. You can still drag it around and go back into it if you need to. So I'll put it there. And then I'm going to put some text in. So I'm going to press the T tool. And I'm going to type some text. Okay, you can change the font so you can highlight it. You can change the colour, the fonts over here, the sizes over here. You can then move it if you want to. You can also expand it in the same way that we just did. I'm going to do another one now. The reason I've done it in two separate boxes is so that I can move them independently. So if you have them together, then they're stuck together. So it's quite good that you can move them where you want them. It also means you can rotate them separately if you want to. In fact, there's quite a lot of different things you can do to text. I won't be able to cover all of them right now. Okay, because I'm showing you the basics. I'll show you one more. Okay, and that is on the right hand side, you can see these layers, so you can see where happy is. If you right click on happy and go to blending options. So we've got lots of different options of what you can do to the text. So for example, you can do a glow, so you click on it, and then you can choose a different color glow. You can also change the size of it, like that. And there's loads of different ones to have a look at and play with, but make sure you click on it and then you go into it to see what the different options are. So for example, an outline, and then you go like that. You can pick a different color. Okay, so you've got some text on, we've got a picture on, We'll do one last thing, we're going to add a background to this bit. So if we go to layer, new fill layer, and you can choose some solid colour or gradient. There's also pattern, but we'll choose solid colour for now. Just click on OK. And then this has done the whole page. Okay, And we can't see anything. So if you drag it down, it goes behind. But the problem is, it's that side as well, and we didn't want that. So what we can do is delete the layer. To make it just this side, um, I'm going to choose a rectangle. My rectangle is going to fill in red at the moment, so I'm just going to pull that down. Okay, we've got the rectangle. Remember, if you need to, you can move it up and down if it's not in the right place. So it's underneath. If you don't like the colour of it, so you've got some colours here that you can choose from. You can press on the button there and then you can change the colour. 
It's important to think about the colours you use. So, for example, you can't easily read this card because the colours are chosen. So think about which ones you're using. Also, you've got some options with gradient here. So that's the gradient tool. And then this is the gradient here. But we don't want black and white for Christmas card. So we're going to double click on black. And then I'll pick a colour over here. And then I'll pick another colour over here. A bit blue. And then I think I want another one. And then I've changed my mind. So I'm just going to put it down again. It's gone. Okay, so you can quickly make a nice gradient for your card. Think again about colouring afterwards. This isn't brilliant because you can't read Christmas. But imagine this is finished and you're happy with it. Save it. So you've got a copy of it if you need to change it. So file and save as. So I went through and saved mine as card. So then to save it for printing, we're going to go to file and then save a copy. That means we've still got the original as well. And then we're going to choose a PDF. So, and then click save. And then you'll have a PDF on your computer that you can then print out afterwards. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please press like. And if you want to see one similar to it, press subscribe. Have a look at the playlists that are on um, YouTube. There's loads of different ones for Photoshop to give you a bit more information and guides of what you can do um, to make the Christmas card even better.